Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video. We have Shopper Drop. Now, Shopper Drop on my channel is where I go through Trend Mood's Instagram and I go through all of the new makeup releases and I tell you my opinions on them and whether or not I plan on buying them. So I just got back from being on vacation for two weeks and then it just has in general been a while since I've done this video. So there is a lot of things that I could talk about. I'm just gonna pick and choose things that I want to talk about. I feel like right now, is kind of an in-between makeup release season so uh, not too much is really catching my eye like crazy or anything and also just with me being gone I think that was a big reason why I didn't buy a lot of stuff and the fact I'm only home for a week and then I go on vacation <laughs> again for another two weeks so yeah I'm gonna be pretty ruthless in this video because you know what I can't be home I can't be here to get the reviews up right away and I just can't be home to receive the packages I have to be a little bit more sensible which which is hard for me to do. By the way, of course, I do get all of the, my information from Trend Mood's Instagram. I don't know who doesn't follow them, but I will link it down below. If you do not follow Trend Mood, you need to. You get all the info about the new makeup releases. So we have the Natasha Denona Chrome Crystal Liquid Eyeshadows. Now these released about a week or two ago. You guys know I love Natasha Denona. I basically purchase everything that she releases, especially her palettes. However, I did not purchase these because I was out of town and uh, there's been so many great reviews that I just don't feel the need to buy a whole collection and review it for you guys. I think that once I hit Sephora and I see them, I think I'll pick out a color that's my favorite just so that I can educate myself about the product itself, but not necessarily owning every color. So I will be shopping one of the colors from the range, but it's not going to be a big deal. I've seen some mixed reviews on them, so I definitely plan on testing out to see what I think myself. Now, I'm a huge Huge Stila liquid eyeshadow believer. I have been using them from the very first day that they released and I've been obsessed with them. And so Stila came out with these matte liquid eyeshadows and I've seen a couple of reviews and I was quite intrigued by them. They have released, I think this is another thing where I think down the road I'll purchase one just to educate myself about the formula but I am in no rush to pick one up I just love a good glittery shiny lid and I just don't think there's a need for matte ones because I think a matte eyeshadow works just fine but the curiosity is going to kill me so I'm not in a hurry to pick it up but I am definitely interested in trying this product out and then Kylie released her summer collection and I used to be obsessed with her brand um, every release that she came out with seemed absolutely stunning, amazing, and beautiful. And obviously, just within the last year, I think everybody has gotten over the hype of it, including myself. But I do get trapped every now and then, and I do pick up some stuff. And you know what? I think her makeup has some pretty good pieces in the line. So the only thing from this collection that caught my eye was these beautiful eye glazes. Uh, they have a set online that is still available, and I'm thinking of buying all of those because they look stunning. That blue, I will never wear it, but it's just so beautiful that I need to have it. Some of these look duochrome and they just look stunning and I am a sucker for products like that. So the rest of the line doesn't really interest me, but those eye glazes, I think I'm going to shop. I'm going to hold off for a couple of weeks to try and convince myself out of it, but right now I want to buy them. Next, we have a picture of the NARS Summer Collection. This was available starting on July 11th, so that was like six days ago. But you have two face palettes, a gloss set, an afterglow lip balm, and a satin lip set. I will be dropping these from my shopping list. Not very interested in any of these products to be honest. NARS has been so boring. They used to have such great releases and every now and then they'll have a banger. But for the most part, they're just kind of letting out these little kind of useless collections and releases that are just, in my opinion, kind of dumb. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm personally just not really interested in this collection. It does not catch my eye. Oh my gosh, this was stunning. The Vizzy Art and Alcone eyeshadow palette. So it looks like Alcone created an eyeshadow palette with Vizzy Art. This is available right now. Is this not stunning? I think individually I have all of these colors, so I will be dropping this from my shopping list and not picking it up. But just the curation of the palette looks stunning. I think it's a really unique mix of colors and I really want it, but I can't do it. This is super cute. So YSL is coming out with these Rouge Couture 
lipsticks. They're coming out in September. <gasps> These are beautiful. They're covered in polka dots. They're a limited edition. Yeah, I think I will pick up one or two just because these are so cute. So I will be shopping these. I don't have a lot of YSL in my collection, but you guys know I love the luxe. And this looks so beautiful. So definitely shopping one or two of those shades. I love them. Benefit also released this palette called Party Like a Vlog Star. Um, I buy a lot of Benefit palettes. I really like Benefit as a brand, but this palette just seems like they threw some extra stuff that they could not sell and put it in a palette. This has everything that everybody who has Benefit products at least owns one of these. Dandelion blush, California blush, Kula, Hula Light. I just have everything in here, so I will be dropping this. It's not something I'm interested in either, so I'll pass. Natasha Denona also released that mini Tropic palette. Now, if I was home when this released, I probably would have purchased it to make a video for you guys, so too much time has passed. I'm sure somebody's already covered the topic because I heard this was a different formula than the bottom row of the Tropic palette. Not sure I actually haven't watched any videos on that but I am dropping that because I don't need it I literally have the palette that those colors came from and I liked the Tropic palette to be honest so I will be dropping that not purchasing it but it's $25 which is a good deal for Natasha Denona it's cute it's portable so if you are interested in it I would recommend it so then we have the KKW fire collection now I eyed it I definitely did a double take but I'm going to be dropping this from my shopping list to be honest I don't purchase from KKW too often. Her makeup brand is kind of boring, but I think that's what makes it really nice too. Like those are colors that you go for. I watched Wayne Goss's review video on the KKW products and I mean he admitted that some of the products really were good, but they're just boring to me so i won't be picking anything up from this collection and plus <sighs> too many warms i'm not a huge warm toned lover i like a cool toned neutral eyeshadows will not be picking that up but the collection looks nice so these next items are definitely something that I am eyeing. So it looks like Urban Decay is coming out with a new collection called Stay Naked, which is a complexion line with foundation, concealers, and it looks like some lip stuff. But I definitely am eyeing that foundation and concealer. I actually have never tried an Urban Decay complexion product besides like the spray. So this, I like the packaging. I like the vibe that it's giving. Uh, so this releases july 19th which is in two days just because i will be out of town i'm not going to be purchasing it right away if i hear the reviews are good i think i might consider it but uh there's no point in me ordering it while i'm at home so for the moment i'm gonna have to drop that from my list but it looks like something i'm very interested in plus i feel like Urban Decay has a pretty good reputation for some of their complexion products. I'm very interested to see about that concealer. So we have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This says it'll be coming out between August and September. Yes, I 100% will be purchasing this foundation. You guys know how I feel about Charlotte Tilbury. I love her. She's my makeup mother. I don't think she has the best foundations in the game from what I've tried thus far. I think they're nice, but I have other foundations that I like more. But I'm excited to see what she did with this formula. An airbrush flawless foundation. That sounds like something that I would like. So there's a lot of shades. This is a 44 shade range, which is impressive for Charlotte Tilbury. But it does look like it's very light based. I'm thinking I'm probably 4N, but I have no clue. But yes, I will be purchasing it. I'm super excited already for that to come out. She also is coming out with some color correctors. I might purchase one just for the heck of it because I love Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll, I'll be shopping that too. Dose of Colors is coming out with a foundation. It's coming out today, actually, July 17th. I will not be purchasing this. I need to chill out. I won't be here when it comes. I did double take on it though. I was thinking about it because I don't own a lot from Dose of Colors and I do like the products that I do own from them, but you can only have so many foundations. So I'm just going to pass on that one. I don't need it. I don't need to review it. So just dropping that one from my list. So ColourPop is coming out with what looks like a new body brand called Soul Body and it's a shimmery dry oil and I'm definitely thinking of purchasing purchasing this. So this is $15, which isn't dirt cheap or anything, but I'm obsessed with body oils now. I'm wearing Patrick Ta right now. Uh, my favorite is the Sol de Janeiro, but from what I've seen so far on these body oils, they seem really pretty, and I just really like supporting ColourPop as a brand.
one. So I think I will be shopping this. These look stunning. Now, I've never personally tried anything from M Cosmetics, but these are color drops. They're like a serum blush. They are going to be available July 22nd, and they are $25 each, which is pretty pricey. So I'm actually really considering purchasing one of these because they just look so sophisticated, luxurious, and beautiful. I think for now, I'm going to drop them from my shopping list because I need to be more smart with my money um, or allocate it to things I want more. I don't know. I might have a weak moment and pick these up because they look stunning and I don't have a product like that. Oh well, yeah, and let's talk about the Pat McGrath complexion line. So it looks like there's going to be foundation, powders, some brushes, a primer. I definitely want to pick all of those up. You guys know Pat McGrath can just take my whole bank account. It's fine. I have very high expectations for this complexion product. Like my skin better look perfect after I use these. They are quite pricey. It looks like the foundation is going to be $68. The setting powder is going to be $55. The primer is $60. There's brushes that are like $60 as well they will be available july 26th definitely purchasing shopping all of those maybe not the brushes but everything else honestly not much more i can say about those i mean you guys knew i was going to purchase them anyways right <laughs> fenty is coming out with a make it matte keep it matte primer available july 19th will not be purchasing this i feel like Fenty's complexion products are so drying already that they needed to come out with a really moisturizing primer and not this keep it matte, super matte primer. Like, their foundation is so matte and dry, I felt like they needed to do the opposite. But that's just my personal opinion. If you have really oily skin, this might be something you're super interested in, but I got dry skin, so do not need this. Okay, so I think this is going to be the last thing that I talk about in this video, but Tarte just came out today. It's available now with a collaboration between Tarte and Whitney Simmons. So if you don't know, I think she's like a fitness blogger. Uh, I've come across her videos in the past, but I don't personally follow her, but she came out with a really cute little palette that's like very natural mauve rosy tones, which is really pretty. I don't know. I'm kind of boycotting Tarte for the moment until something really, really catches my eye. I'm not that big of a Tarte fan, if I'm being honest. I think they have some good pieces in their collection, but as a whole, I don't really like them constantly releasing junk. So it's tough to say because I do support collaboration. I think they are something to be proud of as a blogger and an influencer, and I do like to support that, but... I can't. I cannot. Anyways, that is all I have for this shop or drop. Let me know your opinions of what I said and your opinions of what are releasing. What are you going to pick up? What are you going to pass on? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.